All right, folks, welcome to another beer review. And uh, this is one I think a good old crispy boy would enjoy. But he's he's gone AWOL and he's been fucking AWOL for ages. And this is Beanie Balaclava, which sort of looks like a rip-off of Phone Jacker. But hey-ho, it is what it is. Hopefully he makes a, a safe return because I'm sure the, uh, the summer is going to be filled with lager. Anyway... So today we're going over to Daya and we're having a look at the Talking Straight, which is an amber lager clocking in at, do, 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 do. I struggle to find the, AB, no, it's right there, right in the front of the label, 5% ABV. Talking Straight is an amber lager brewed with a high proportion of Munich malt, some Belgian aromatic molten UK hops from Brookhouse Hops. The com to complement the toasty basically body, we have, can't even say words properly, uh, we have been heavy handed with the early hop additions to give a firm bitterness. For aroma, we choose Phoenix and UK Chinook, both of which are smelling righteous on our last visit to the farm. No fuss, no silly, no worries, be well. And uh, yeah, they have a really good track record of brewing lagers, which is always good to see. Because it can't all just be jouse, can it? And I thought, you know what, because um, I want to make this a prestigious and immense occasion. What's that? Oh no, there's a scuff on my glass. Uh, we're going to be using uh, the brewery that makes the king of all lagers, the Augustina. Augustina Broy München. Gegründet, Dreizen, Achtungswanzig. I can't remember how to actually say years properly. I've lost a lot of my German. Not that I had much to begin with, of course, but anyway. So I thought, good company. I've not used this glass for a while. Uh, I've had a few good lagers recently. So I'm interested to try this one. Nice amber lager with uh, a really bad pour. But hey oh, it is what it is. So, as you would expect, unfiltered. Nice sort of like cloud in there. Lovely sort of like, um, I'm caressing the glass. Lovely sort of like amberish colour with some orangey hues in there. Just shy of three fingers worth of an off-white foamy soapy looking head. Certainly looks the part. So let's see what we get on the nose. Oh, a nice steady sweetness. A little bit of a, a citrusy aroma coming through. Without it being like an overly hoppy citrus character. Get a little bit of like a, like a dried orange peel. Then a really nice, dense, sticky, sweet malt character going through. It's got a subtle, like, fermented character to it as well. But then you get that wonderful, wonderful, subtle, sweet muskiness you get from most lagers. Oh, it smells really nice. It's almost got the aroma of, like, a traditional sort of a Zwickel or land beer. It smells good. Anyway, without any further ado, let's give it a taste. Prost. Ooh. That is interesting. There is a little bit of a fruity, pronounced hop character on the intake. And then as that beer progresses, you get a, almost like a subtle grapefruit like bitterness but thankfully those malts just sing really nicely sing it's got a bit of oomph to it in the body it's got I'd say it's one of those weird things where it's got like a light a somewhat light body to it 
but it's still got a heartiness as it goes down, if that makes sense. But you still get that crispness. A sweet breadiness. Those like slight orange-like characters that I got on the nose come out slightly. Um, so it's not one of those annoyingly overly hoppy lagers, which um, thankfully I've not had one of those for a while because um, a lot of the UK brewers now seem to actually just know how to brew a good lager. Um, yeah, I'll always sing the praises of uh, the brewery that makes just a decent taste in lager. I mean, Tappy Pills is just awesome. <laughs> I've had that a few times now. I know they do that sort of like rustic lager, which I've yet to have, and that like venture into the Italian style lager, which I've never really had too many examples of, so I don't know without reading into it what an Italian lager would have compared to like a, a, a German sort of lager or a Czech lager. You know, I make out that I love the lager style, which I do, but like most things when it comes to beer, I know next to nothing um, about a lot of stuff when it comes to brewing traditions, brewing process, uh, specific characteristics you get from different, um, not only different ingredients, but brewing techniques. I just know when I'm tasting what I think is a good beer, I'm going to tell you it's a good beer. And this, it's hitting all the spots. It's got that fine balance of being a traditional tasting sort of amber lager. But there are a few of those sort of like contemporary elements to it as well. But it works beautifully. And it's just a, a hearty, robust tasting lager. I wouldn't say it's like as crisp as refreshing as a Pilsner or a Hellas. You really wouldn't expect that too much when it comes to an amber log. Well, I don't. <clears throat> this is something that you could you could imagine sat somewhere in the heart of Bavaria at a seasonal traditional restaurant and having a hearty dish and then a hearty beer like this to complement it. So it pays its respect. I would say, but there's that modern sensibility about it, but it doesn't go off too much into that direction where it just ends up tasting like a really watery pale ale, which a lot of, especially about three or four years ago, these hoppy lagers that were around, they just, they used to annoy the shit out of me because it's like, why not just save those hops and make a good pale or IPA. But yeah, this is uh this is just a lovely, lovely drink. And I think Dea have done an absolutely cracky job. There's like a really nice sweetness about it. So you could drink this more in like an autumnal uh time of the year, but also sat outside, sun blazing, most beers chilled down, will always give you that satisfaction anyway but you know what i mean i'm not one of these people who says <clears throat> oh it's stout season i could have a stout in the, the height of summer and i'd still enjoy it and at the same time i could have we could be going through the coldest year ever and i'd still enjoy a nice chilled down ipa but yeah this is lovely definitely worth giving a go if you like your lagers Nice sweet breadiness to it. Almost subtle marmalade-like characters. And, um, yeah, it's going down a treat. So I would very much recommend Talking Straight by Dea. Love that artwork. I like it because it's just not just, like, rendered vector graphics. It's got a real sort of, like... I like those jaggedy edges of the, it's almost like it, crayons have been used, almost. And I like that, I like that. 
and yeah they are obviously known for the you know their hazy beers um that would rival some of the most prestigious american breweries but at the same time it's just good to know that they can brew good traditional beer like this i mean you definitely get that chinook coming through with that slight citrusy flavor but it's not too much because you get a lot of citrus flavors in uh, some very traditional pilsers as well i always find when when i was living in germany you know you could get those lagers where the avv is maybe a little bit less but they've like amped up the hops that's the sort of vibe i'm getting and that's a very specific thing because i know paulana do a nice sort of like it's not rattler strength but it's not the same strength as the regular hellas um but yeah, why am I going down that tangent? I don't know. This is just damn good beer and you should give it a try because it's lovely. So I very much would recommend that. Uh, pick this up from Bottles and Books out of Bristol. Very happy with uh, my first order and will be buying from them again. And I had a great experience buying from Daya directly uh, not too long ago, actually, as well. That was good. And I will definitely... Be buying from both Daya and Bottles and Books again in the future. So anyway, that was like someone's really shit attempt at William Shatner, but it wasn't. I can't do a William Shatner impression. I'm very tempted to do a William Shatner impression, but I'm not going to do a William Shatner impression. <laughs> His name's got Shat in it. Anyway, go check out Daya. Go check out Bottles and Books. And if you see a can of this, give it a try. And uh, the thumbnail's going to look shit because half it's gone. Happy days. You take care, stay safe, and I'll see you next time.